Good day, ladies and germs. So, as you can see, we've got a, uh, let me see here. Zoom is right here, there we go. We've got a camera up in the tree here at this gate, and there's the gate itself. So, I'll show you how everything connects after, but uh, let's take a drive up to the other camera so you can see the distance that we're going from that orange box where the switch is, all the way up to where the actual camera is, so you can see where we're using these extenders. Now, just for shits and gigs, I'm gonna actually set my distance on the dashboard here. Um, here we go, I'm gonna go like this so I can at least keep track of, uh, there we go. So let's do this. Okay, so what are we at? Let's see here. I don't know how many meters it is. I think it's like, I think it's 130 meters to the other camera. But uh, let's find out. It's not even registering. So it might only be like 20 meters actually. I know it's definitely more than 300 feet. So there's the other camera up there in a tree. I'll just park like this. Hopefully nobody speeds through here and hits me. There's a little termination box. I actually use an fs.com enclosure uh, to try to uh, encapsulate, I guess, the uh, uh, equipment so that it didn't get borked by the weather. So that means I need to find a key. I think I've got a key in here. Let's dig around in my, uh, I know I've got one in my uh, backpacks. So we'll check that in a minute, but let's go out here. I'll probably do a jump cut in a second so that I can go and dig around for that key and you guys don't have to watch me like an idiot. All right, so there's our camera. Here is the enclosure with the uh, long run uh, cable in it. Now, this is like everything else in this park. Everything's kind of loosey goosey and because we don't want to hurt the tree here. This is a birch, which is endangered. So I've got a uh, stainless screw in here uh, and it's loose. Same thing with the thing that's at the back here. We're using brass, but uh, the cable looks like it's intact. Uh, and the cable then goes off through the woods all the way to the pedestal at the far, far end so that we can keep an eye on these garbage bins to make sure that people don't abuse them and that the bears aren't hanging around. Um, so yeah, it's all the way down that road. So the extender that's in there got popped in a storm and I guess the set of extenders was like 500 bucks. But today we're gonna try to replace them with a set of Microtik extenders and see if they actually work. So here goes nothing, folks. See you in a sec. All right, so we found the key. No, I'm just kidding, I actually found the key. Hi, here's my ugly face. So I've got the key for this guy now, so I crack her open. These boxes typically all come with a key, so you've got no excuse to actually not have the appropriate key. Oh my God, do I still have waddles? Oh my God, I've been losing weight and here I am with waddles still. Jesus, I really gotta like beef my arms up more. Ugh. All right, so here we go. Boopity boop, we're open. Here is the piece of junk that's in here. Okay, so which one's in? Okay, so this is long span extended network right here. Ethernet PoE out. So this is the out here. This is what's gonna go to the camera. So we're gonna take our little micro tick and we're gonna try to replace this uh, long span BLS 1P-C. And we're gonna see if we can get this camera back online. Cause you know what, paying $500 every time the lightning strikes is just extremely expensive. And if these little guys can actually pull it off, then let's try it. All right, so this is PoE out here. It's in. I hope there's like an LED indicator on this thing to tell me that things are cool. And then we'll unplug this guy and we will plug that in. So I guess that's connected now. I don't see any kind of LED indicators on it telling me if it's active, but uh, we can go down and take a look and find out if uh, things are active from the gate actually. So I'm gonna button this back up now. So put this uh, cable back in here. Make sure that the gasket's nice and tight and that things are dry. There we go, she's all tightened up, things are good. Now we can head down to the gate and check things out and make sure that they're bueno. Did I say that right? I'm working on it. Okay. I don't need any driving lectures. I'm on private property. Can I do a full Yui? Oh, I love this little truck. God, she maneuvers so much better than my uh, Titan ever did. This thing's like a go-kart with just more room for tools. All right, let's head back down here. All right, here we are. I think I'm just gonna park off to the side and then I'll continue. Go magnets, magical crazy things there. All right, here we go. All right, here we go, back in. All right, so I gotta get this guy open, which means I need some tools. Yeah, let's see here. Gotta watch out, the grass is full of spiders and I don't wanna kill little bastards. So, let's see here. By the way, for reference, I'm using my camera mic right now. I'm not actually using a shotgun or a lapel. I'm just using the uh, inbuilt Sony's uh, only because it's not too loud out here. I got the first screw out here. I'm gonna put this actually, I'm gonna keep them together in this little pocket in the concrete on the top of this pedestal here. Now let's see if I can find the key for this. 
There we go, that's the right key. That's right here. No bees, we're good. That aside, now I need a Phillips to get into the actual pet. Pardon me a second. You start with me, little critter, whatever you were. As long as you're not a black bear, we're cool. Well, there, there's my uh, cardio exercise for today. See, we have bears in the area. So, uh, and they especially hang out at the top of this hill. So when the uh, bushes make a large rattling, you'll find Sarah booking it pretty fast. All right, so we're gonna take out this uh, jerry rig screw here. Put this here like so. Still recording, good. And unclip this. And here we are, we are into the gate pedestal. I have a feeling that was a bush rhino that just scared the shit out of me. All right, so we've got our uh, stuff here going down. This is the garbage bins here. That's probably why it didn't fire up. Let's plug it in and see if we can get some activity. So it's supposed to be on port five. I wonder if one will do it. See if we get some activity here. So I'm just watching the LEDs on here to see it go from red to uh, red and orange. Not seeing it just, oh, there we go. It's actually up. So that one extender at the far end was enough to bring this online. I'm going to verify that by logging with my laptop, but before you needed two extenders, one at this end, one at that end, and the kit was like $500, right? This is one of those Jeepers at the far end instead. I'm going to grab my laptop and we're going to check that out. If I sound shocked, it's because I am. I wasn't entirely sure how this would uh, turn out, to be honest. Let me adjust my ball mount here so you can see me working on my computer too. Uh, we've got the, uh, the Microtik Powerbox Pro, or sorry, Powerbox, uh, yeah, it's a hex PoE, sorry, duh. And uh, we're bringing in 48 volts on the input here. And we're only running two cameras on this, but then the gate card reader is also on here. So we've got the bin cameras down the road and then the gate camera here. So it's basically three devices and this thing's being powered from the far side here across the road where the solar panels are. Um, so what I'm doing on the other side there is I've got a boost converter, uh, taking the 24 volt from that plant and boosting it to 48 volts going into a Microtech um, PoE injector dongle, coming into the Cat5, which comes across to a surge suppressor blade, and then into here. So that's how that's hooked up. I'm gonna have to put another blade in here, actually, for the uh, far camera. I thought I had one, but I don't see it anywhere. Oh, there it is, right there. So this guy right here needs to go in line because that camera run, as you can see, is quite long. So we wanna make sure that there is lightning protection on it. So since I know that it works, I'm gonna unplug it again. I'm gonna plug it back in here, and then I'm gonna plug this guy in here. Now, the blade needs to be grounded properly, so I have to hook up a ground wire to this right here, and then run that to the ground buses here. So I'm gonna do that in just a minute. See, I've got the ground wire here. This is supposed to bolt on like so. I have to put a new bolt in it. Not a big deal. So I'm just gonna load up uh, Linux here, Ubuntu to be more specific. And by the way, this little guy here was originally to strip the power so that the card reader didn't get popped. Um, so b these guys can be used multiple purposes, right? So this went out to the card reader and that went into the port because for some reason it was triggering PoE activation on this uh, hex PoE here. And you can use these things on your laptop too. So you need trick, watch. I plug in to the PoE side with my cable. I plug the data side into my dongle and then I can plug this into a port and not have to worry about things going pop. All right. Let's log in. So I don't have a capture going right now because I'm in the field and it's really difficult for me to work efficiently and have all the recording setups, but I'll tell you as I go. I'll give you a little play-by-play -play here. So I'm just setting my uh, my connection to DHCP so I can pull an IP address here. There is a bug crawling down my pants. Ew. Okay, there we go. I'm connected. I'm going to load my terminal with uh, Control-Alt-T here, and I'm going to go to Desktop, my folder, and I'm going to type Wine, Winbox, and hit Enter, and that should bring up Winbox for me, allowing me to get into this uh, hex PoE. So I'm at the Stricker's pedestal now. Uh, here we go, so I'm gonna log into that. My password is password. Yeah, right, I'm not gonna tell you guys. Uh, all right, so that's the first one. So there's pedestal, so that's the fiber transceiver one, which is at the far side here. So I need the other Stricker's. Here we go, Stricker's gate. And of course, there's a different password on that one too. I hope that it negotiated at one gig. I'll be really impressed if it did. Yeah, it's connected. It's connected at 100 megabits per second. So that one little, one little jeeper. Are you kidding me? One little jeeper. Where did I put it? I want to, I want to hold it up and celebrate it. Like, you know, um, the Lion King going on here. This little guy right here replaced this kit, which required two of these guys and is like heavy aluminum housing and everything, right? This one little device here replaced two of these and I just stuck this at the far end of the cable. It's working. Uh, now to verify, I'm gonna call the front gate and verify that the garbage bins are working. Or you know what? Why would I do that when I'm already on the network? I'll just load Chrome here and log into the, um, the viewer. Let's see here. Here we go. There we go. Let's log in and see if the garbage bins are working again. That is great. I am really impressed with these little guys. How many times can I say this? 
Oh, here's the other one, by the way. So he, you needed two of these things before. You needed one here to inject and one at the other end to catch. Okay, so send and receive, pitcher catcher. Okay, instead I just have one of these guys at the far end. And the other thing as well is weight. Not that it really matters, but in some applications it does. This weighs probably about a quarter of what these two weigh. And this one's like 50 bucks. And these guys are like 500, so one tenth the price. I am shocked. Okay, let me just uh, log into the cameras here. Wow, I'm really impressed. Like, I'm not making this up. I'm actually like wowed. I didn't know what to expect here, honestly, because I don't work with a lot of long run. Yeah, I don't work with a lot of long run. It works. That is so fucking cool. So now let me see if I can pull the garbage cans up specifically. Here, I'm gonna log in directly just for the sake of uh, testing. I can't remember what it is. No worries, it's in the software. It's showing us online. I've got an image. We're good. This is great. So this little guy actually pulled it off. I'm gonna call the gatehouse just as final verification because I like to triple check when I'm in remote places like this, make sure everything's good. And then the last thing I'm gonna do before I leave here, which is gonna be very boring, is I'm literally just going to take this wire and I'm gonna put a little bolt through it just to ground this to here. Make sure that this uh, is grounded to the rest of the grounding system. It's the most important part, really. And then we're good, that's it, we're done. So there you go, I just replaced, to reiterate again, I know I sound like a broken record, I'm shocked. These specialty long range um, ethernet extenders, with just the G per from uh, Microtech for like one tenth of the price. And with a single one, not two, I'm shocked. I mean, I think if I put the other one here as an injector that I may potentially be able to get uh, a solid gig, who knows, but either way, it works, cool. All right, that's the little vloggy style entry for today. My, my vloggy style entry for today for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this on this beautiful day in August. I think it's like August 19th or something like that when I filmed this anyway, but uh, ciao guys.